English Braille, also known as Grade II Braille, is the Braille alphabet used for English. It consists of 250 or so letters phonograms, numerals, punctuation, formatting marks, contractions, and abbreviations logograms. Some English Braille letters, such as CH, correspond to more than one letter in print. There are three levels of complexity in English Braille. Grade 1 is a nearly one-to-one -one transcription of printed English and is restricted to basic literacy. Grade 2, which is nearly universal beyond basic literacy materials, abandons one-to-one -one transcription in many places such as the letter, ch, and adds hundreds of abbreviations and contractions. Both grades have been standardized. Grade 3 is any of various personal shorthands. It is almost never found in publications. Most of this article describes the 1994 American edition of Grade 2 Braille, which is largely equivalent to British Grade 2 Braille. Some of the differences with Unified English Braille, which was officially adopted by various countries between 2005 and 2012, are discussed at the end. Braille was originally intended, and is frequently portrayed, as a re-encoding of the English orthography used by sighted people. However, Braille is an independent writing system, not a variant of the printed English alphabet. History Topic. Braille was introduced to Britain in 1861. In 1876, a French-based system with a few hundred English contractions and abbreviations was adopted as the predominant script in Great Britain. However, the contractions and abbreviations proved unsatisfactory, and in 1902 the current Grade II system, called Revised Braille, was adopted in the British Commonwealth. In 1878, the ideal of basing all Braille alphabets of the world on the original French alphabetic order was accepted by Britain, Germany, and Egypt see International Braille. In the United States at the time, three scripts were used, non-Braille New York Point, American Braille, which was reordered so that the most frequent letters were the ones with the fewest dots, and a variation of English Braille, which was reordered to match the English alphabet, assigning the values WXYZ to the letters that, in France and England, stood for Zeitsch. A partially contracted English Braille, grade one and a half, was adopted in Britain in 1918, and fully contracted grade two, with a few minor concessions to the Americans, was adopted in 1932. The concessions were to swap the British two-dot capital sign with the one-dot emphasis sign, which had generally been omitted anyway as capitals had been in New York Point, to drop a few religious contractions from general usage, and to introduce a rule stating that contractions and abbreviations should not span major. Syllable boundaries. In 1991, an American proposal was made for unified English Braille, intended to eliminate the confusion caused by competing standards for academic uses of English Braille. After several design revisions, it has since been adopted by the Commonwealth countries starting in 2005, and by the United States starting a gradual introduction after 2012. The chief differences with revised Braille are in punctuation, symbols, and formatting, more accurately reflecting print conventions in matters such as brackets, mathematical notation, and typefaces. System The 64 Braille patterns are arranged into decades based on the numerical order of those patterns. The first decade are the numerals 1 through 0, which utilize only the top and mid row of the cell, the second through fourth decades are derived from the first by adding dots to the bottom row, the fifth decade is created by shifting the first decade downwards. In addition, for each decade there are two additional mirror image patterns, and finally there are three patterns that utilize only the bottom row of the cell. The final pattern, the empty cell, is used as a space, it has the same width as the others. Cells 1 through 25 plus 40 w are assigned to the 26 letters of the basic Latin alphabet. The other 37 cells are often used for punctuation and typically assign different values in different languages. The English grade 2 values are as follows. Cells with dots on only the right side do not have equivalents in printed English and are explained in the notes. Asterisk formatting marks, explained below. Section abbreviation signs, illustrated below. Abolished in Unified English Braille The period, is distinguished from the decimal point. The apostrophe, is distinguished from the single quotation mark. Alphabet 
The English Braille alphabet has letters that correspond directly to the 26 letters of the English print alphabet, but also ligatures that are equivalent to digraphs and sequences in print. Abolished in unified English Braille some of these ligatures transcribe common words, such as and or of, but they are not words, pronunciation and meaning are ignored, and only spelling is relevant. For example, the is commonly used when the sequence of print letters the appears, not just for the word the. That is, the is the letter the in Braille, as in the two-letter word, then the n. Similarly, hand is written h and roof, which sounds nothing like the word of is written R O of, and forest is written with three letters in Braille, for E Street. Numbers are used this way as well. Seventh is written, number minus seven th, and here printed English approximates normal practice in Braille. There are numerous conventions for when a print sequence is contracted, this way in Braille, and when it is spelled out in full. The ligatures ing and ble may not begin a word as in asterisk bled, would be read instead as four, but are used everywhere else as in problem, trouble, the ligatures of the third decade, and four, of, the, with, take precedence over the letters of later decades. For example, then is written the n, not asterisk, thn. When standing as words adjacent to other such words, or to a, no space is left between them. For example, and the, for a, with the, of a are all fused together, when printed ch, gh, shish, th are pronounced as two sounds, as in Shanghai, hogshead, and outhouse, then they are written as two braille letters rather than with the ligatures gh, shish, th. Generally, other ligatures should not be used if they might cause problems with legibility, as with the ing and lingerie, though they tend to be with familiar words, such as ginger and finger, even if their pronunciation is divided between syllables. None of the ligatures are to be used across the boundaries of compound words. For example, of is not used in twofold, nor bb in dumbbell. The rules state that they should not span a prefix and stem either, so for example the ed in deduce, the er of rerun and derail, and the ble of sublet should be written out in full. In practice this is variable, as it depends upon the awareness of the writer. The of in professor, for example, might not be recognized spanning prefix and stem, and no one has a problem with a CCEPT or a DDRESS, despite the technical violation. There is also conflict with the overriding tendency to contract sequences that fall within a single syllable. So the same writer who divides the er in derive may allow the ligature in derivation. A similar pattern emerges from suffixes, ed is not used in freedom, since it spans stem and suffix, but is used in freed, because it forms a single syllable with the stem. What is considered to constitute a prefix or suffix is somewhat arbitrary, street is not used in Charlestown, for example, but it is in Charleston. Ligatures may also not separate digraphs or diphthongs in print. For example, Arial does not use er, Oedipus does not use ed, and Tableau does not use ble. Also, it is normal to use the letter a for the broken vowel in idaas or craate, despite it being pronounced as two sounds rather than one as in head or ocean. Ligatures should not be used for acronyms that are pronounced as a string of letters. That is, dia should not use the letter aya, nor pst the letter street. Such letters are acceptable in acronyms that are pronounced as a word, however, if the result is not obscure, the letters of the fifth decade are often used in the past tense and other grammatical forms, when rub becomes rubbed, in braille the letter b is moved down a dot to indicate the bb. However, those letters which double as punctuation marks, a, a bb, cc, dd, ff, gg, may only occur sandwiched in the middle of a word, not at the beginning or end, in order to avoid confusion with the punctuation. That is, asterisk c, eb, ad, cuff, egg must be spelled out in full, though the ligatures are used in season, added a dd ed, cuffs, and eggs. Because of legibility problems c, lower contractions, in the next section, they may not come in contact with an apostrophe or hyphen either. That is, in egg, s and egg plant, t, s and t time, the gg and a must be spelled out in full. If the print letters span an obvious affix, the braille ligature is not used preamble, reanalyze, pineapple, subbasement, but they are used in words such as accept and address where the morphology has become opaque. In order to keep the spelling regular, compounds of words starting with aya keep the aya spelled out, uneasy, anteater, southeast do not use the ligature aya because easy, eater, east do not use it. These are the least preferred ligatures, any other will be used instead. Thus wedding is w ed d ing not asterisk we d d ing and offices of f i c e not asterisk o f f i c e. 
Many of the rules for when to use ligatures, contractions, and abbreviations differ when a word is divided at the end of a line of text, because some of them may not come in contact with the hyphen that divides the word. See the references for details. The accent mark shows that there is a diacritic on the following letter, as in say at nor senor, fa at cade facade, caf at e cafe, na at ive naive, and angstrom at angst r at ohm. In normal Braille text, noting the precise diacritic is not important, as it can be easily understood from context, or simply ignored. Where diacritics are critical, technical Braille transcription must be used. A diacritic in a word of foreign origin prevents the accented letter from combining with another into a ligature. For example, senor is not written with the ligature n as asterisk s dash at dash and dash o dash r, because it would not be clear if the accent were supposed to be on the e as a or on the n. However, English words are contracted. Thus blessed is written b dash l dash e dash s dash s dash at e d, and coeducational is c dash o dash at dash ed dash u dash c dash asian dash a dash l. Topic: Punctuation marks. Topic: Braille punctuation marks use the lower half of the cell except quote slash quote. Braille punctuation is somewhat variable, just as there is variation in printed English between curly and straight quotation marks. They fail to make some distinctions found in print. For example, both opening and closing parentheses are written, with spacing used to distinguish. On the other hand, Braille makes several useful distinctions which print fails to make. The period, is different from the decimal point, and the apostrophe, and ditto mark, are distinct from the single and double quotation marks is the hyphen, the n dash, the m dash, and, the double dash, is the ellipsis. When words or letters are replaced by, or, in print, in braille, and, are used, with a matching number of characters. The reference mark, or, asterisk, is used for all reference marks, asterisk, etc., including numbered footnotes. Unlike the asterisk in printed English, it is spaced on both sides, apart from associated footnote letters or numbers, which follow it immediately. So, word asterisk is transcribed, as is word and word section, the numbered footnote in word 3 is written. The ditto mark, which occupies two cells, is only used once per line, in contrast to normal practice in print. The apostrophe, and cap sign, are used to compose additional punctuation. Added to parentheses, they form brackets, added to quotation marks, they form single quotation marks. Together, they form the termination sign, see formatting marks below, also, the section mark section. The accent mark here called the print symbol indicator is used with punctuation when it stands alone, rather than suffix to a word or number. For example, if someone's response in a dialogue is transcribed, in Braille that would be written. It is also used to derive a few symbols, percent, dollar, and. Traditionally, mathematical symbols are spelled out though unified Braille has dedicated characters. So, 2 times 5 feet, read 2 by 5 foot, is, and 2 to 5, read 2 to 5, scale, is. Topic formatting marks Topic Braille has several formatting marks, sometimes called, composition signs, register marks, or, indicators, which have no one-to-one -one correspondence with printed English. These are the number sign, the letter sign, the capital sign, the italic sign, or more accurately the emphasis sign, and the termination sign, written cap apostrophe. These immediately precede the sequence word or number they modify, without an intervening space. All characters AA through JJ are interpreted as the digits 1 through 0 when they follow a number sign. This reading ignores intervening numerical and arithmetical symbols such as commas, decimal points, and fraction bars, until a non-number compatible character, such as a period or a letter after J, is encountered, at which point reading reverts to the alphabetical values AJ. The number sign is repeated after a slash that's not used a fraction bar like model number 1507. For example, 120th 120th is but 2020 vision is. The braille number sign has no equivalent in print. It is sometimes transcribed as hash. However, this is misleading an actual printed hash is rendered in braille as no without an intervening space before the number sign. The letter sign is used to force the end of a series of numbers. For example, Da preceded by a number sign, as read as 41. If instead 4A is intended as in a section or apartment number, then the letter sign is used to force a reading of a rather than one for the final character, 4A. 
It is also used to mark a character as standing for a letter rather than for a word. For example, B on its own is normally read as the word but, to indicate that it is instead the letter B, the letter sign is used, B. Plurals of letters mind your PS and QS always use an apostrophe in Braille, but other derivations may not, as in, nth time, as sing, as essing, essing. The letter sign is also used to mark lowercase Roman numbers, as in, E. The capital sign marks the first letter of a word as capitalized. It may occur in the middle of a word for camel case, as in the name D'Angelo. It is doubled to place a word in all caps, this must be repeated for each word of an all-cap text. The emphasis italic sign marks emphatic formatting, equivalent to printed italic, bold, underlined, and small capital text. A single italic sign emphasizes the entire word or number. For two or three emphasized words, each takes a separate marker. For longer texts, a doubled marker is placed before the first word, and the end of the emphasis is indicated by marking the final emphasized word with a single italic sign. When the capitalization or emphasis does not span the entire word, the beginning and end is marked with a hyphen. However, if the print word already contains a hyphen, the termination sign is used for the end. So, hooray is written, but who ray is? The comma, prefixed to a letter indicates that it is to be read as non-Latin, so that for example, would be alpha if Greek symbols were being used. Topic. Contractions Topic. Apart from words using the various abbreviation signs, covered in the next section, English Braille utilizes a number of unmarked contractions. These are similar to the contractions found in shorthand and stenoscript. As a rule, they are not used where they would obscure the text. Topic: One-letter contractions. Topic: Abolished in Unified English Braille. Plus joins with the following word. The single-letter contractions are b, but c can d do e every f from and self g go h have j just k knowledge l like. M more, N not, P people, Q quite, R rather, S so, T that, street still, U us, V very, exit, Y U, Z as, CH child, shish shall, TH this, WH which, O out, W will, BBB and B, CC con, DD dis, N enough, FF to, GG were, his, in and, by and was, Com note irregular, X for it, Z for us, and GG for were. All 26 basic Latin letters are used apart from AIO, which already form words of their own. These contractions are either independent words or, in the cases of con, com, dis, self affixes, as in, one f oneself. They cannot be treated as simple letters. For example, while the letter X stands for the pronoun it, it cannot substitute for the sequence it in the word byte. They cannot be pluralized, asterisk cs is no good for tin cans. This is true even of ch child not being usable for asterisk grandchild, nor o out in asterisk without, these must be spelled gr and child and with ot, however, a following apostrophe is acceptable, p s people, s c t can, t x, l l it, l l, as are hyphenated words like so and so. This behavior is distinct from ligatures such as ed and the, which are used when the equivalent sequences are found in printed English, as in red and need. There is no semantic restriction, c can may be either the verb can or a tin can, and capitalized, w and m are names will and more. However, in the few cases where the basic letters would be words in their own right, they must be spelled out to avoid confusion. That is, because shish stands for shall, it cannot be used for the word shish, which must be spelled out as sh. Similarly, street can be used for saint. As either saint or street when marked as an abbreviation by a period, but otherwise should also be spelled out. Lower. Contractions because contractions that occupy only the lower half of the braille cell mostly double as basic punctuation marks. Legibility requires that, with few exceptions, they may not come in contact with actual punctuation marks. If they would, they should instead be spelled out. That is, any cell which follows without an intervening space should contain a dot in its top row. Most of the difficulties of when to use contractions are due to this complication. The whole word contractions of the fifth decade are bbb, n enough, ff to, gg were, his, in and by, was. 
If one of these words occurs at the end of a sentence, or before a comma, it must be spelled out though enough would still be partially contracted to n-o-g-h, they cannot even be used in hyphenated words such as bride to be. However, much like Arabic prepositions, the prepositions to, into, and by join with a following word without an intervening space. This prevents by from being read as, was. That is, in he came by to see us, by to see, is written as one word. Word joining is allowed as long as the upper half of the braille cell dot one or four is used in the final word, to, by, into do join within, enough, be, his, was, were, but the second word is spelled out. The fifth decade prefixes be, dis, con may only be used if they occur at the beginning of a word including in a compound word after a hyphen, or after by, to, into, and form a whole syllable. That is, they cannot be used in the words bin, disc, conk nor apart from double duty be as words in their own right, as in con artist. Com is similar, but need not constitute a syllable, it is used for example in come and comb. However, because it uses only the bottom row of the cell, like the hyphen and the apostrophe, it cannot come in contact with either. Topic. Longer contractions Topic. Longer unmarked contractions are the following. Ligatures, such as street in AGST against, are underlined here for clarity. AB about, ABV above, AC according, ACR across, AF after, AFN afternoon, AFW afterward, AG again, AGST against, AL also, AM almost, ALR already, ALT altogether, ALTH although, ALW always, Back because, BEF before, Bay behind, Bell below, Ben beneath, BES beside, Bet between, Bay beyond, BL blind, BRL braille, CD could, CV sieve, CVG sieving, CHN children, DCL declare, DCLG declaring, A either, FST first, FR friend, GD good, GRT great, Herf herself, him him, HMF himself, IMM immediate, LL little, LR letter, MCH much, MST must, MYF myself, NEC necessary, NEI neither, O, C O, clock, ours ourselves, PD paid, per perhaps, QK quick, RJC rejoice, RJCG rejoicing, SCH such, SD said, SHD should, TD today, TGR together, TM tomorrow, TN tonight, thus themselves, WD would, XS its, XF itself, year your, YRF yourself, YRVS yourself. These can only form longer words that are derivations of them and retain their meaning. For example, above in above board, necessary in unnecessary, conceive in misconceive, and good in goodness are all well-formed braille, but not should in asterisk shoulder nor said in asterisk port said. Nor can they be used if a final e is dropped, as in declaration. This is why special ing forms are available for declaring, rejoicing, and sieving. The ing suffix would not work. They may be used as proper nouns when capitalized, but not as parts of proper nouns. For example, little is acceptable for the name little, but may not be used within do little. Similarly, the contraction for good may not be used in the name goody. There are too many unpredictable names for this to be workable. After, blind and friend may only be used in longer words when followed by a consonant. They are too ambiguous otherwise. Topic. Abbreviations Topic. Besides unmarked contractions, words are abbreviated with any of several abbreviation signs. All of these signs use only the right-hand side of the Braille cell. And, mark initial abbreviations, combining with the initial Braille letter of a word. The italic sign, letter sign, and capital sign, mark final abbreviations, combining with the final letter of a sequence, commonly a suffix. Topic. Initial abbreviations. Topic. The combining initial letter is written here in boldface, as it does not always correspond to the initial letter of printed orthography. Forms the words, here, there, where, ever, ought, father, mother, name, character, question, no, lord, one, day, some, 
part, time, right, through, under, work, young, forms the words, these, those, upon, whose, word, forms the words, cannot, many, had, their, spirit, world in general, these are acceptable as parts of longer words as long as they retain their pronunciation. There are three main exceptions to this. One need not keep its odd pronunciation, as long as the O and N fall in the same syllable. Some needs to form a complete syllable, as in chromosome chromo sum. Part cannot be used in partake or its derivatives as can be seen from chromosome, the pronunciation requirement is rather loose. Given the difficulty of English speakers in agreeing on where syllable breaks fall, syllable requirements are also loosely construed in Braille, they do not follow the rigid application of a dictionary. Topic. Final abbreviations Topic. Forms the sequences, ound, ount, ants, less, scion Forms the sequences, ong, full, ment, ents, ness, tion, ity Capital Y stands for the suffix, ally, and n for, asian, these cannot follow an apostrophe or hyphen. They cannot form independent words like asterisk ally or asterisk less, nor can they occur at the beginning of a word like asterisk ancestor or asterisk lesson. However, then can usually occur elsewhere, c out, r out. They may be used across syllables, as in c ants r, ness is used for the suffix s after n, though not after n or in, as in baroness b -r -o -ness and lioness, but not in chieftainess c -h -i -e -f -t -a in ess, full does not use, full in order to preserve the parallel with the independent word full. However, full and fully do. When there are several ways to write a word, the shortest one is chosen, and when they are of equal length, the one without two cell abbreviations is chosen. So, thence is written thns three cells rather than the nce four cells. However, with the sequences anst, answer, enst, answer, the form with ants, ants is used even if not shorter. Braille also uses print abbreviations such as aya, mon, sept, etc., in which case the period is used as in print. Topic. Spacing Topic. A single space a blank cell, which has the same width as all other cells is left between words and sentences. Paragraphs are indented with a double space. This is universal in Braille, even when transcribing a printed text that does not indent paragraphs, blank lines are not used for this in Braille, though they may be used for changes of scene, etc. As much as possible, lines continue to the right margin, with words divided and hyphenated to fit. If this would cause an illegal sequence of ligature or contraction and hyphen, the spelling needs to be decomposed, or the word hyphenated differently. The full cell is used to over-type and strike out errors when using a Braille writer. Mistakes may also be erased by smoothing them out, but this runs the risk of making the corrected letter illegible. The full cell may also indicate a missing value in a table. It can also function more generally as a column marker to keep the data in a table aligned. For example, a row in a table of punctuation, where the columns contain symbols of different lengths, could be written. For an illustration of such use, see the alphabet chart in the box at Russian Braille, where a column marker sets off each letter of the alphabet and each mark of punctuation. Topic. Unified English Braille Topic. Unified English Braille UEB, is an attempted unified standard for English Braille, proposed in 1991 to the Braille Authority of North America BANA. The motivation for UEB was that the proliferation of specialized Braille codes, which sometimes assigned conflicting values to even basic letters and numbers, was threatening not just Braille literacy, but also the viability of English Braille itself. Also, the irregularities of English Braille made automated transcription inaccurate, and therefore increased the cost and time required to print in Braille. In 1993, the UEB project was adopted by the International Council on English Braille, and expanded to cover the various national systems of the member states, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Nigeria, South Africa, the United Kingdom, and the United States. An additional goal became adoption of a single standard for all Braille encoding, apart from music, with the exception of math notation, this was largely achieved. 
New Zealand officially retains Maori Braille as compatible with UEB, and Bana officially retains Namath code as a math notation option alongside UEB for the United States. In the finalized form as of 2013, UEB upgrades English Braille Grade 2, the literary coding used in several slightly variable forms in different countries, obsoletes computer Braille code by making email, website, programming syntax part of literary coding, and in some ways competes with Namath code by adding additional math notation, albeit Taylor style with the numerals overriding letters rather than overriding punctuation as in Namath to the literary coding. Compared to the American standard described in this article, Unified English has the following differences. Readings. Several have been eliminated, due to ambiguity or translation problems, the letters DD and BLE, the contractions by, com, to, into, and o'clock, and the capitalized abbreviations ally and asian. Spacing – Words such as and the air to be spaced in Braille just as they are in print formerly they were typically run together as antha Formatting – Bold, underline, and italics now have separate formatting marks formerly it was impossible to distinguish between underlined Braille and italicized Braille, a triple capital sign now indicates a passage in all caps. Punctuation – New opening and closing parentheses, and – which previously were ambiguous. Various brackets, quotation marks, dashes, and other punctuation including notably mathematical and arithmetical notations such as the equals sign have been added, so that printed text can be reproduced less ambiguously. Uniformity, UEB is likely to become the worldwide standard for English language Braille see full article for details. Extensibility, provisions have been made for adding new symbols, without causing new conflicts, Miscellaneous changes, various other differences exist. The following punctuation is retained. The grade 2 single opening quotation mark is also retained, but the closing equivalent is changed. The right side abbreviation and formatting marks are used to derive quotation marks and mathematical symbols, by combining them with lower half punctuation and four letters which graphically resemble. In addition, the accent mark is used to derive the following. At least the first, the ampersand, is the same as usage in American grade 2 Braille, and at least the dollar sign is different. Topic. Sample Topic. The following text is the same in American grade 2 and unified English Braille. Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Topic. See also Topic. Braille Challenge Braille Institute of America National Braille Association Unified English Braille Namath Braille Gardner Salinas Braille Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Topic. Dictionaries Topic. BRL Online Contraction Dictionary WIKT, Category, English Braille Duxbury Charts for Grade 2 Braille, American Bana, British Bauk, and UEB Topic. Organizations Topic. Association Valentin Hawaii Braille Authority of North America Braille, American Foundation for the Blind National Braille Week Scottish Braille Press Royal National Institute for the Blind Perkins School for the Blind National Braille Press, offers a free Braille alphabet card Alternate Text Production Center Accessible Media Center National Braille Association, Inc. Royal Blind School 
Braille Institute of America Comité International Prosiegos, IAP, Mexica Topic Libraries Topic The National Library for the Blind Libraries Australia, Catalogue of Braille in 800 plus Australian Libraries Washington Talking Book and Braille Library, Serving Residents of the State of Washington, USA Braille Institute, Online Public Access Catalogue Topic Learning Topic National Center on Low Incidence Disabilities, NLS Braille Transcription Learn Braille on the Internet for Free Braille Bug, an Education site for kids, from the American Foundation for the Blind BRL, Braille through Remote Learning Online Braille Course of University of Sao Paulo Online Braille Generator A Braille Alphabet Card Learn Braille Online, Change Own Text to Braille, Braille Writer Simulator and More Braille Challenge Competition for Blind Students in North America English Braille, American Edition 1994, 2002 Revision the official standard from the Braille Authority of North America Instruction Manual for Braille Transcribing New 2009 edition from the Library of Congress Braille Transcription and Certification Program Topic History Topic Proceedings of Braille 1809 to 2009 Writing with 6 dots and its future International Conference held at the headquarters of UNESCO Paris from 5 to the 8th of January 2009 celebrating 200 years of Braille Lewis Braille Online Museum an all new illustrated exhibit traces the the history of Braille and the life of this remarkable inventor. How Braille began, a detailed history of Braille's origins and the people who supported and opposed the system. Robert B. Irwin's As I Saw It, 1955, gives a history of the War of the Dots that ultimately led to the adoption of the English form of the Braille Literary Code in the United States and the demise of American Braille and New York Point, its main competitors. Making a newspaper for sightless readers, by means of raised dots and lines embossed on manila paper, news of the world is conveyed to the fingertips of the blind popular science monthly, January 1919, page 24-25, scanned by Google Books. Topic. Documents Topic. English Braille, American Edition The Rules of Unified English Braille Library of Congress Instructional Manual for Braille Transcribing Details on Braille Cell Representation Unified English Braille Code Including Information Specific to British Braille Topic. Legal Topic. U.S. Copyright Exemption for Braille Topic. Computer Resources Topic. Braille for various scripts Free Braille fonts Free Unicode Braille TTF font supports all Braille scripts Free Unicode fonts which include Braille 